to your school reunion. It's great to see so many of you back here at Eastern's Primary School again. Yeah, last time we were all in the school together, it's for our P7's Leaver Show. Aye, I remember that. We shared our favourite memories and our ambitions for the future. I think I do too. I think I even remember the song. Here we are. One last time. Let us entertain you. Here we are. One last time. Before we have to go. It's amazing to think my son is starting here in primary one. Well, I remember our first day, it seems so long ago. I know, we never knew what lay ahead of us or who we'd be friends with. It's funny to think about all that we and that young. What are your favourite memories of the early years? In primary one, me, Cameron and Razzles and Max had this bear called Draco and we managed to bring it to primary two. But in primary three, Cameron lost it and we didn't manage to bring it to primary three. In nursery, I really liked this pink sparkly weed and one day I decided that no one else could have it. So, when it was home time at nursery, I grabbed the bead in my hand and walked out of there proudly with my pink sparkly bead. Doesn't that make you a thief, Cara? No. On the second day of primary one, we were taking a group photo and Matthew photobombed us. And to this day, he's still photobombing us. <coughs> but some things never change. <laughs> I remember way back in primary three when I first joined, I asked Miss Fagan what COVID is and if it would ever come here and she said no, nothing to worry about but look what's happened now. I remember when I first started nursery, I was so scared I was even hiding behind my mum's legs. Cara came right up to me and said hi, I'm Cara. Every time someone new joined the class she said that, it's always nice to have a friendly face.
We really didn't have a clue what lay ahead of us, did we? Primary school was such an adventure. It's amazing to think some of, some of us have been friends for over 30 years. I know. I met Kelsey on the first day of primary school. And we're in the same class most of our primary school, and we're still friends to this day. Remember some of the daft stuff we used to get up to? I remember when I was in primary four, I had I found this wasp and it was called, I always called it hairy. It was always a different wasp, but I never knew that. I was only in primary four. But then Lex killed it and Max made a song about it. I think I cried that night. In lockdown, me and Lex were in charge of feeding the chickens and Lex used to eat all of the chicken food. Bark, bark, bark. You see, that hasn't affected them. I remember back in P1, me, Lex, Cameron and Max had this sort of gang and we had like leaders for it. I think Cameron was the leader this time. He told us to go eat stuff off the ground. Disgusting! I remember in P6, I hurt my foot so I got crutches and then me and Rosie stayed in with me at lunch and then we had this sort of race to the toilets and then Rosie tripped over my crutches and then Rosie fell into a wall and then Rosie got um, a moon as well. At least I had somebody to hold my hand. I left up the window in space as our topic. I think that topic lacked an atmosphere. Oh, be quiet, you! Yeah, that's right. I remember doing that too. I liked when we went on school trips, though. My favourite was the Leaving Heritage Railway Station. We had lots of different visitors come into the school and help us too. That's right, so many great experiences. I remember when we done spaces or topic. Our classroom was fully decorated and we even had a cardboard rocket. It was out of this world. In primary five, we had a visitor called Mrs Jackson. She came in to teach us jembe jumps and different languages and cultures across Africa. I think I even remember the rhythm of one of the songs. I remember in P6 when we went to the Five Hearted Railway Station. It was only a fiver to drive a steam engine train. We certainly didn't have a buzz that day.
had some amazing times thought out in primary school, but I loved being happy seven. Me too, we did so many amazing things. I like that we had more responsibility than I too. Everyone did their best to prepare us for moving up to high school. I know I was nervous for such a big change, so it was nice to know that we had that support. Yeah, all our staff helped us to be the best version of ourselves and to always aim high. For the past few weeks, we've been going swimming every Friday morning. Every week the lane gets shorter and shorter and our time gets smaller and smaller, but yet we still have fun. In primary seven, in the lunch hall, the lunch hall was handing out seconds and thirds of onion rings. We smuggled them all up to my, our class. It was a wet break. The classroom was stinking, and so was my packed lunch. On one of our swimming trips, we were looking for chavs. We were chav spotting. And on the way there, we seen a chav. It, she was in her jammies, walking across the street. And then Rosie said, that was your auntie. We, she has a chav auntie. On the way back, we also seen a baby, less than one, drinking iron brew. She's definitely a chav baby. I think it was in the middle of P7. Miss Tucker was just absolutely fed up with us using these Gen Z and Gen Alpha words, especially bro. And everybody, it was just absolute mayhem. They're like, no, don't put that word on it. I still want to say it. Absolute chaos. I don't have to abide by those rules anymore. Eh, bro? Yeah, bro. MP7 went to our joy. It was probably the best experience ever. We took part in amazing activities like Abseil and Canoeing and Adventures in Woodland Days and so much more. At our joy, I was in the same dorm as Cameron and he had this massive ice cup. It was huge. And he put it in his drawer trying to take it home with him. And I was playing with his moon ball. It's super bouncy. And it ended up going in his drawer. So I climbed in to get it and I got soaked Yeah, our joy was amazing. It just showed us how awesome we all are.
so long ago. It feels like no time has passed since we were here performing for our parents. It almost, I don't know about you, but it almost feels like they're out there in the audience. Nah, don't be daft. Why would they want to come here and listen to us go on and on about our primary school days? Remember in our P7 show, we all shared our ambitions. I think I actually remember what most people said. When I'm older, I want to be an engineer. When I grow up, I want to be a nursery teacher. When I grow up, I want to be a shop worker. In the future, I would like to play football for Newcastle United. When I grow up, I want to be a vet. When I grow up, I want to be a beautician. When I grow up, I want to be a dancer. When I grow up, I want to work in the bank. When I grow up, I want to become a successful investment banker. When I grow up, I want to be a nail tech. When I grow up, I want to be a vet. When I grow up, I want to be a footballer. When I grow up, I want to be an electrician. When I grow up, I want to be a joiner. When I grow up, I want to be in the army. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. When I grow up, I want to be a footballer. When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer. When I grow up, I want to be a trade driver.